a YouTube. How are you guys doing? As you can see, my twist out was a success. Yes, yeah. I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, it was a success. So my roommate did the twist out for me. And like I said in my previous video, uh, my hair was damp. I put my leave-in conditioner and my oils, put a cap on it so it could stay moist, and she twisted it up. And there's one thing that I didn't tell you. She used this aloe vera 100% gel. You can find this at Walmart, Target, any of your stores like that. And this stuff, oh my goodness, it is amazing. It's pure, no color added, moisturizing therapy for sun, anything. And I love it. At first, I was a little worried because my hair tends to dry out quickly. And so I wasn't sure how my hair would react if it was just, you know, this on my hair. But it is so soft and it feels so moisturized. So I don't know why I haven't been using this before, but it's, it's amazing. You really need to go buy it. Instead of using your regular gels or jam or something like that. I would suggest that you use this. It's a lot healthier and it holds a lot better. So I guess I'll um, explain to you what I did to my hair. I untwisted it. I put um, my extra virgin olive oil on my fingertips to prevent frizz. And then I just start separating from the bag and roll it to the front. Um, I'm not the type of person that likes their coils or twist outs tight. So I separated them about two to three times. And every now and then my fifth I find if I find a big twist, then I'll just, you know, undo it so it has a fuller effect. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, let's see. After that, it was just out on the sides, and I wanted to see if I could pull it back to make almost like a mini mohawk sort of thing, kind of. So I um, got my extra virgin olive oil, put it on my fingertips. And I rubbed down the sides where I knew I was going to pin down. After I did that, I got my aloe vera gel. I got a very small amount, like about a pea size amount. No, I take that back. It was about a dime size amount. And um, rubbed it in my fingers. All I did was apply it to the sides. I didn't press down. I just applied it to the sides. Then I got my brush and I smoothed. My edges down. Let me tell you, my edges are so slick right now. Like, can you see that? Look at that. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so I did that. I held it in place and I stuck my bobby pins in on the side. You can see that. And of course, with any gel, you can't just leave it alone. You have to tie it up with a scarf or something to lay down the edges. So I um, got my scarf, wrapped it across here tied it in the back and left it on for 15 to 20 minutes. You don't have to leave it on that long. It's just that's the time that I had, um, I guess, to waste because I had a final that I just took actually about, I finished taking about 30 minutes ago. So hopefully that went well. I think I did, did good. Um, but yeah, this is my look for today. Um, I really, I really like it. And I think my hair has gotten longer. Like, even though it's only been a week. At least it feels that way. But let me see. Let me show you what it looks like from, ooh, from the back. So. Can you see that? Yeah. That's what it looks like from the back. So I just can't wait till my hair gets longer. And then my hair's gonna be huge, you guys. I'm telling you, I love big hair. My hair's gonna be epic. I'm just saying it right now, it's gonna be huge. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on twist outs and my exact um, products that I use, my technique, and I'll let you guys know because I want you guys to be able to do this with your hair too, no matter what the length. So I'll see y'all in a few days. All right, hope you're having a great day. Bye.